Hello, this is Crinstar, and, and actually I'm really excited uh, recently. Um, the Bitwig stuff is, is kind of over. They relent, relented. Um, if you didn't know, they, they put out some plugins and uh, char tried to charge $70 additionally for them. Um, and it wasn't a part of the upgrade plan that everybody played for, paid for. Um, during that, uh, somebody um, on... Bitwig put out a, a post here that uh, how to sort of build your own Spectral Suite plugins using um, Reaper's JSFX type of stuff. And basically they added clap support to YSFX, which is a emulation of the of the JSFX stuff in Reaper. So uh, all of the all of this stuff's here and in, in, in on this post and then in GitHub on here. Um, in the description, I'll put the I'll put the link into GitHub on there. What's notable is is that you can get the VST3 versions of this, uh, ones without clap support, um, and they work just as just as well. Um, but somebody actually added in the clap extensions so that gives it clap support also. Um, if you're not familiar with the JSFX extensions, uh, they uh, you can you, if you got a Reaper, they come in Reaper. They you can go down to here. And see them. They got they got quite a few of them, and they're kind of like VSTs in a way, but it's um, all EEL2 code. Um, every one of these should be editable. So right now I have the avocado ducking glitch generator going. Uh, so if I hit edit, it you can see the code. I can edit the code. Uh, you know, for for all of these is is a bunch of delays and stuff like that. Uh, Reaper has a very good development environment for this stuff. Uh, so if you're going to do your own or change code, uh, I suggest doing it in Reaper first and then copying over to Bitwig. Uh, but um, needless to say that, that every one of these um, in, the, in all of the, all of the uh, effects that you can get, uh, you can actually literally open all of these effects into Bitwig. Um, and there's tons of effects in here, anywhere from, from a compressor, uh, split, uh, band splitters, um, to a delay... Um, MIDI, MIDI effects down here, delays, uh, all that kind of stuff, T tons of effects. So in here I got like an avocado ducking glitch generator, and then in my first one I got an Artaria, uh, a thing, so let me, let me turn off the glitch. And as you can hear, there's it, it's not playing all the way through. Like when I turn it off, it actually glitches and uh, does some reversals, some repeats, some probability. Um, and then uh, makes it sound crazy. It's it is literally one of my favorite JS plugins. Uh, so back to Reaper here. Um, I got the same thing down here. Uh, the y, 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 YSFX here, uh, this is the, the clap version, this is the VST3 version. Um, basically, drag and drop, and, and it gives up the interface right here. You click on load, go find your script. Um, everything that's in there is in, is in the Reaper effects directory. So, um, basically, you can load it in here, so like delays and filters and stuff like that. They're all... Um, Categorized in there. The remain com has the avocado glitch. I have that open here. It's the avocado glitch. Um, so if I print, and not only that but uh there's the output support so in here it's only using one chain but there are other effects so if i hit load and i think they're in get where it's at i might have to, to... Ooh, an fft splitter that's kind of cool um if you can hear the dog, apologize. Dog's going crazy for some reason. Uh, uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Where is it? Give me a second.
Oh, I had to look. Uh, it, in Reaper, when you go into the development environment, it shows what the um, directory that they're in. The the one for the splitters is in the loser directory, of all things. Uh, here's like a five-band splitter. And what that does is it should it should ch uh, uh, crossfade the channel into five different bands. And as you can see when I'm playing it, the, all of the outputs are lighting up. Well, not all of them. Um, d five different chains. So you got your main one, and then four auxiliaries. So four auxiliaries is in here. So if I start um, cutting these off and mess with the, how they are, as you can see, the main one is lit up, but the, I mean, output four is the only one because it's the one that has the full uh, crossover here. Or some of it. So you can you can mess with the bands and stuff like that through here. Um, again, you hit edit and then the, the the editor comes up and you can actually see how this is working and how this is splitting. If you recode, the code is kind of based on C, uh, based on C, but not a quite exactly uh, C code. Um, but if you're familiar with it, like C or C++, the, 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 it shouldn't be that hard to understand. Um, but basically, if if you want to know how to delay is done or a splitter is done or anything else, you could just hit edit, look at the code, and, and kind of borrow from there. Um, also, there are a couple resources like the JFX programming here on Reaper that has a big guide on on exactly how to how to do it with all this stuff. Uh, and then this uh, web page here, the Admiral Bumblebee, also has a lot of um, uh, examples on on the um, um, JFX and and Rhea script. Um, but um, but it, it uh, you can go in here and, and it, there's there's a bunch of stuff as well as the forums and Reaper and stuff like that. Um, tons of resources to kind of code your own and stuff like that. Um, at this, I realized that the, probably the market for this or the pe amount of people interested in this is probably kind of small since you kind of have to have Reaper and Bitwig at the same time and, and like some of the effects uh, or JS effects. Or like me, I'm a developer. I want to cut my teeth into how some of this effects processing is going and this EEL scripting is awesome. I love Bitwig. Uh, it can it can go into the the scripting and and be there's uh, there's some some like FF, FFT transitions. So the spectral stuff, um, it can be it can be done in in this um, in Bitwig. Uh, do with the uh, was it odd even thing? It says it, it says in here what they were using. Right here in the in the in the uh, instructions of what they were using, but um, uh, plenty of stuff to mess around with that you can. So if I want to add a, like a delay here, the delay is barely heard on that on that one. So let's add chorus. I mean, Bitwig already has its its three band splitter or multi band splitter. Um, this is this is nothing new, um, but basically it's just to demonstrate um, some of the some of the things that you can do with this. Um, I I do know that I had to to download the code. The VST three one is compiled already. I had to download uh, the GitHub code and open a Visual Studio, run the CMake and stuff like that to build the clap plugin. So um, if you're if you're if you're wanting the clap plugin, you're gonna have to do do a little bit of of uh, compiling to get it there. But the VST three is there, so that should actually get you there further. Um, so basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this. And then you just drag in the VST3 version of the plugin. And as you can see, it's the same thing. And then let's go and just add a delay. Mm -hmm. 
That's pretty cool. So at any rate, you can you can take these scripts, um, put them in the bit, Bitwig, and use the effects on there. Uh, or you can look for them on the internet. Uh, there's a bunch of scripts on the internet, uh, tons and tons of scripts. Um, basically, just search for JSFX and then Reaper, and then anything, any of the JS, JSFX plugins, not the RIA plugins. Uh, Reaper also supports Python as a language, a couple other stuff that actually automate the or or mess with uh, the API to the to the actual application itself or the DAW itself, rather than just the plugin effects stuff. So you kind of want to look for just stuff that says JSFX that messes with the FX in, in some sort of way, either through MIDI or through uh, the audio stuff. But um, basically, I, I, I believe this is actually really, really cool. And, and that avocado duck and glitch thing is, is one of, like I said, one of my favorites. I'm so happy I can, I'm able to use it here on Bitwig. And, and basically, it, it's a great way of, of messing around and, and adding glitch into, into something and, and create some sort of... Um, uh differences in there so any rate hope you liked the video um yeah, hopefully the the dog didn't annoy too much in this one uh and i will catch you later